Well, he's known as the father of the National Park Service, and he lived right here, John Bartel here, making a little pit stop at the John Muir National Historic Site. Among his many talents, John Muir was a writer, explorer, and advocate for protecting nature. His influential writing helped protect and create multiple national parks. John Muir loved nature, and he wanted to share that love of nature through his brilliant storytelling. In his younger years, John Muir was not a wealthy man. He spent most of his life as a vagabond, working odd jobs to fund his wilderness adventures. But at the age of 42, he married into money. So his wife's name was Louis Muir Strenzel, and the Strenzel family were very resilient and strong Gold Rush pioneers. John Muir helped manage the Strenzel family's fruit ranch in Martinez and lived with them in their massive 10,000 square foot mansion. John Muir spent the last 24 years of his life writing his major books. Inside the lavish home, you'll get a look at some of the luxuries the wealthy family enjoyed while expanding their prosperous fruit orchards. Upstairs, you'll get to see where John Muir did all of his writing. He called it the Scribble Den. There's a reason John Muir called it the Scribble Den. He was quite the messy writer. Just above John Muir's den is the bell tower, where you could watch over the work being done in the orchards. And if you come during the harvest season, you can pick and eat some of the experimental fruit yourself. It's sour. Uh, maybe they should keep experimenting, I think. Even after John Muir passed away in 1914, his family turned all of his journals into books, and his legacy lives on today at this National Historic Site, along with all the national parks across America. From the John Muir National Historic Site in Martinez, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back row.